Star Wars fans, what's going on? Welcome back to another Vintage Collection action figure review. This time we're getting into the gaming crates of the Vintage Collection and we're going to kick off with VC-193. It is the heavy battle droid. Uh, another figure that I've been putting off for a little while just because um, the prices were up to like 35 bucks on these for some unknown reason. Um, so yeah, I waited. Amazon recently put them on sale thanks to Dave from 808 Toys. I don't think he uses that anymore, but thanks to Dave. And uh, Linda, who follows my channel uh, quite frequently. So thanks for the heads up on these figures. Went down to about, some were down to 18, some were down to about 21. So it's even better. So I've picked them all up um, just because I did want to add them to my collection. So here we are. Let's check out Heavy Battle Droid. All right, folks, here is the Heavy Battle Droid in all his I don't want to say glory but um yeah like the black series version this sort of leaves a little bit to be desired it is a reuse repaint of the 2011 vintage collection battle droid which also got a re-release recently and um I've got to say I'm really disappointed in the plastic they've used for this thing it's it's really sort of soft and malleable um you know this guy just wants to sort of just just fall over you know he's just loose and wobbly and you know i'm flexing these legs like they're nothing it's just it's almost like a pencil eraser um yeah definitely glad i didn't pay the full price for this one because it's uh it feels a little cheap um and, you know trying to get him to hold the weapon you know there's no way he's going to hold that and then you know you can't actually get a second hand but you can just sort of just twist that arm around and it's just it's not very good quality honestly um i mean looks look wise the paint's good the paint applications look good you know this is my chosen class in battlefront 2 i i'm a i'm a fan of the heavy troopers so i always end up with this guy um it does have the interchangeable backpack with the uh sort of antennas so they just sort of plug into the back instead of the uh, instead of the backpack there. So it does come with the standard uh, battle droid blaster. Which from memory, no, it doesn't peg onto the side. And yeah, the heavy heavy blaster rifle here. But yeah, I think the only thing it's really got going for it is the paint apps, which which look pretty good. Um, get some nice focus on it that'd be great because yeah there's some some nice little just accents of sort of chrome weathering you know wear and tear on this guy you know it's not looking too bad um but the fact that i can just sort of spread the legs out and you know it's really just a really, really cheap plastic they've used for this figure. So I will admit I'm a little bummed. Um, if I knew that, I may not have even spent what I spent on it. Because it's just a little bit lacklustre, to tell you the truth. Um, you know, this guy's probably just going to go in my Geonosis Arena. And... Uh, yeah, I just don't know why they're not using the old Battle Droid sculpt, which was perfect in my opinion. Just grab one. So this one here, which I'm about to show you, is from 2008. So only a couple of years earlier than this one. And uh, this is what we got back then. Granted, the blast is probably a little big. In comparison to the new one which is fine you know you go update the blasters and stuff and uh you know the paint details aren't really there the the eyes are a little bit big uh they weren't actually sculpted they were just painted on but uh it felt sturdier you know it's it's a stronger stronger plastic articulations are a little better at the shoulders they actually pivot and move out a little bit the hands are actually, you know, tough and strong. You know, slight, slight retool of this guy and would have been perfect. I think they should have done that from the vintage collection years ago. Look, even the head pushes in. So this is a, this is a good one. Whereas, yeah, this one, yeah, look, 
Even if the elbows did move, you couldn't because the arms just want to... That's not even using much force, so... I'm not actually going to recommend this one at all. If you see it on the shelf, don't get it. It's, uh, it's not that good. So he's probably more than likely just going to end up being, you know, background fodder for my Geonosis Harina. Um, you know, if I keep him on a stand, he might actually stay there. Slightly warmer day, this guy's just going to roll over. You know, it's it's not warm in here at all. It's it's quite a cool night, and this plastic just it's a little bit weak. So I think you slacked off on a little bit on this one, Hasbro. Um, yeah, not a great release at all. Um, the card art looks great. You know, the I did show that at the start of the video. Card art looks great. Everything looks fantastic in terms of the packaging. Looks good on the card. Um, but yeah, the, the choice, the use of the figure is just not good. It's not good at all. So yeah, definitely disappointed in this one. Uh, so yeah, if you enjoy my honest review here, please give it a thumbs up. Don't give it a thumbs down because you don't like the figure, because I'm giving this figure a thumbs down. Um, but yeah, hopefully, hopefully the next figure I review will be a good one. So let's end it right here. I've got nothing else to say about this one. Let's leave it in the past. Let's move on. Let the past die. And we'll get on to the next video. So th until then, thanks for tuning in. May the force be with you always.